G'day guys and welcome back to my Let's Play Survival World. I think today we're going to go over to the Villager Breeder and work on the building that's going to cover it. Okay, so this over here is what I've been working on. This is the uh, mob switch that I started uh, on the live stream a few weeks ago. We've got a few of them in there. We haven't got enough. Uh -huh. Sorry. Uh -huh. Okay, and after that we can uh, send him away and he gets chucked out of there and pushed in there. Just like that. Grab our minecart back. Make sure that we switch the switch, otherwise they end up just getting converted and uh, despawning. Run down here, where we collect the villagers from. Okay, we've got another one there, and it's pretty simple. We just one of these things on here. Little nudge. And that should pick one up, yep. That'll send him down there and he'll get uh, his new job ready and waiting for us. I built this little room. This is where our little villager thing system is. Still needs a roof, of course. We've got a dog. Need to name the dog. But yep, basically all we do is come in here and rapidly flick this. Gonna give them items. We're gonna do this. And hopefully make a, uh, a little snot. There we go, and he's taken all the food. That's not very good. Definitely not helpful for me. But yeah, as you see, that works. Works alright. Basically all we do is harvest these various amounts of um, vegetables and bread. And we just chuck it in there. Also started decorating up here. Just to um, give it a little bit of a farm look. These trees. Now, what I'm trying to actually make them look like is they've been affected by termites. So I need to make a few mounds here and there. Not too many. I don't want to go too overboard with it. Well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, probably put a roof on this thing. Probably going to go in a bit of an oval shape. Probably not this way, but the other way. Make it sort of like a barn. Give it that barn feel. So a bit of a up and down sort of roof there. We may even change some of these bits out here. But... Well, we need to make amount of spruce for our roof. So, we may as well use this thing when we've got it. Pretty quick and noisy. Should be enough. Yep. Now we just gotta chop it down. And we're just about done. 
So, I've also connected up this pathway here, which leads... We need to put some slabs in there, but this pathway leads all the way over to the breeder farm over here. Which I think this pathway looks quite nice for a dirt pathway. Um, later on, we'll probably change some of these pathways up and um, keep adding as we go to the scenery and whatnot. But now I think it's quite nice. See, I don't want to do this too much now. Now I'm just gonna try a little bit. I'll probably put one around here. Create a bit of a story. As to why these trees are like where they are. Just have a few of these plotted around the place. Like that. That'll give it a bit of a backstory for those uh, trees while they're discoloured. So what I've done here is I've changed this up a little bit because four blocks high was just too much. I think a limit of three for the uh, termite mound would be perfect. So I took out a couple blocks and I just, just replaced it down changed it up a little bit and uh, just put some path blocks down in here just around the outside to give it a little bit more character and I think that makes it quite perfect actually but I always get distracted every time I'm trying to do a project I get distracted my downfall with Minecraft always so distracting Okay, so we've got most of this roof sort of, sort of half done Almost half done Okay, so I noticed that the door was a little off-sided Because it's a double door And the roof was actually, it was actually further over But I moved back one to try and get it centred I knew that it wouldn't look right what I've done, rather than changing all this front of the building, is I've just put a bit of a, a lean-to on the side. And this will just... Um, this will just make it look a little bit different. I'm going to go and finish touching it up, but... For now, like, yeah, we'll put a wall in here, of, uh, probably of uh, logs, like fence posts. And another couple of main structure logs coming along here somewhere. Maybe a couple of them, and we may even wall some of this off. This will be like a bit of a side barn. We'll put some hay in here, decorate it up. Um, we may even put a area in for a horse or something, a bit of a stable as well. So yeah, it's coming along. So we've got some posts in here now, got the, the rest of the roof there. So keeping in with the theme of this building, I think what I want to do is I want to just put some, uh, pick this out, and put some uh, stones and whatnot in the bottom here. And that's just going to tidy everything up a bit. We go like this. Um, and we'll just put those in there, and that'll be like a foundation. Um, do we want to make an entryway in the front side here? I think we probably could do, say, keep this open. 
and then have a couple of stables areas on the side or one stable area on the side and I think I'll do another row of stone so if we go like that and that put the stone in there and then and same with here I think go like that and then we grab our fences and if we plop them in here like this too high of course and same with the front there I think that'll do actually and then we can once we get some uh, I'll have to go and get some lanterns but we can get some of them so that we need to make some more of these okay, so we need to decorate this a wee bit put some steps in here just so we can get up easier I think it's looking all right we need to put another post over this side though we just do that that'll look all right same with this side here we'd like an extra support if we just put uh, a bit of hay like that in there in the corner put some more in here probably stack that up like that now we need our fences put a fence there fence there we we'll put a gate in the middle this side fence there fence there gate in the middle and we've got a few other things we could put in here so we've got a cauldron a composter Let's put that right there. Let's put that down out here. That'll just break it up a bit, I guess. This is uh, looking pretty, pretty dang good. Get rid of some of these seeds. Oh, not what I wanted to do, but oh well. Yeah, and now we can just link these pathways up. Go yeah, this way. I mean, let's link it up to this point over here. That way we can put another big bush in the corner there. If we go just like this. Pull that out. And we need to get ourselves some oak slabs and put them in there. Um, do I want to bring that around here? I probably will. And uh, we'll just just do it like that for now. Put the termite mound. But yeah, we've got to work on this area, changing this up. None of this is going to be here anymore. Um, we can work on decorating we'll put a few bushes around here Let's just climb up here and have a look back yeah that looks good to like that we just need to fix up some of the lights we need to put the wall up in here too so we might do that now okay so I've just put some bushes around this place and uh, fixed up the roof so this is what it's looking like now I'm thinking it's come along quite nice. Put a few bushes over in this corner here too. And we just want to do the uh, last finishing touch. And that's a cool stirrup. We'll get rid of these grass blocks here. And it's just going to make it look like it's been a bit used. And there's no grass growing underneath here. Those ones will be fine, but we could also put a few bits of coarse dirt. There we go. 
put, put some more pools around the place as well. But I mean, doing a bit of bit of work out the back here. This could take forever. It's forever going to be changing. So we're here for the long game, not short game. And I'm finally glad I've got this actually, uh, this building sort of done to a standard that I, that I like. Uh, another thing is I put doors around here. We need to finish up this area over here, but that'll come later. Put some doors on there just so we can cover those villages. And I did change this. Took the double door out of here and just put a single door because where it had these beams coming down, it just it was out of place. But yeah, one door looks fine on there. I've just finished adding the last few details to the build. And we've got some lights. Got a, a few bushes here and there. Changed a few things up, not much, but and we also have a wandering trader. And over here I've added a little termite. Wow. It's a it's an armor statue, but it's it resembles a, a termite like creature thing. Well, as good as we can sort of really do and I might put a few more of them around around the mound what have you got well I might have to get some oh, I don't really need that twice might grab the small drip leaf though because they can only get them from you so I'll get some of them later soon I also added in some tools Okay, so we've got the, the armor statues. It brings in a lot of extra detail. Lights up. Some tools that are lying around. And whatnot. Donkey over here. Got a saddle up on the wall. Now, I would like to uh, put some tripwire hooks up there and exchange those out. I think they would look good. Put some more barrels down here, of course there's nothing really in them, except for some decorations and whatnot. But yeah, I think this looks looks absolutely cool. I'm very, very happy with it. I need to name the dog. He needs a name. I don't know what to call him, but he needs a name. Boy. Hey guys, if you're still here, you're still watching, thank you very much. And uh, do me a wee favour, just hit that wee like button. It'll help the uh, YouTube algorithm. Thanks a lot guys, and uh, catch you in the next one.